music to the sound of a hunting horn You dance a ring in the gathering storm If the solstice time gets your panties in a while It's just the coming of the horn god He will call you out make you sweat Give you a blessing that you'll never forget So revel in the chase and let your heart beat run and all the children of the horned one. Okay. Hey guys, it's Kayla today, also known as KK Witchy. And today I will be talking about the full moon coming up, and this will be on July 12th. Now, on the paper that I have that I will be talking about, it's called the Wart Moon, but on my calendar it is known as the Blessing Moon, and probably another name when it comes up. Um, I think on Friday the 13th. That moon had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of names for that day, which is fine. It's still a full moon. You still celebrate it and stuff like that. So, you know. Anyway, back to the wart moon. Uh, some of the stones you can use around this time is ruby, turquoise, sunstone, and moonstone. The animals is groundhog, groundhog, woodpecker, um and salamon. Some of the flowers you can use is water lily, uh, regular lilies, and honeysuckle. You can always use honeysuckle around the summertime. The ruling planet is moon. And that's some of the July correspondences that you can use around, you know, the stone animal, uh, the planet, the flower. Also, and some of the other stones you can use is sunstone and moonstone. I don't know if I mentioned those two. I can't remember or not. But I will be talking about the wart moon today. So the wart moon is uh, named as such is because wart actually means herbs. So it's a good time to work with herbs around this time. Um, if you want to, that is. Me, um, if you guys have are, are on my channel, and been watching my videos you guys know work no I work very closely with plants and herbs so this moon is also um, a good the beginning of our personal spiritual harvest and because of the time um, and it it's the time for magical workings so it's the time that your magical workings seem to come easy around this time and the reason it says this is because I'm going to go back to where it said spiritual harvest. So this is time where we're kind of getting things together and releasing energies and intents and everything like that. Um, for examples like uh, readings, dreams, visions, um, psychic awareness, intuition, heightens, things like that. And um, much more. So it's important to give uh, the spirit world its due, whether it be offerings, um, prayers, um, giving the earth your intention, uh, your energy, and simple things like that, or planting a flower or a tree. So just want to throw that out there. Some of the ideas that you can do around this time is uh, burn a mixture of sage, lavender, and rosemary. I'm a big fan of lavender as well as sage. And uh, I love putting them together and making a smudge stick out of them. Rosemary is a really, really good herb I love to use as well. So, yeah. And also around this time you can decorate the altar with uh, herbs, fresh or dried. I have some uh, herbs that are growing right now and different flowers that are growing so hopefully I can get them decorative around this time but I highly doubt it because they're still babies so you can serve uh, I think for liberation as an offering um, I think I'll do herbal cookies and um, I'm not sure what I want to do for the drink. I kind of want to do a fruity drink again 
and I'm actually thinking about walking, making watermelon wine. So, well, it just depends on how that goes. I might do it and I might not. So, it's also a good time to charge your herbs and your plants that you may have as well as your stones if you want to kind of get some of that yucky stuff off of it that it may have collected over the years and it's also a good time to take time for yourself as well around this time um it's you know it's in the middle of the year and people need to breathe sometime or another and i know that if you have kids some of the kids are out of school and stuff like that and if you're in college college classes are out for the time being unless you're taking summer classes so so don't forget to kind of take time for yourself as well that is it for uh the july moon and i hope you guys have a lovely and blessed full moon and let me know what your guys plans are for this full moon coming up so many blessings bye guys love you